Hey, this is John. In this video, we're looking at noise on the Canon C500 Mark II, specifically full frame versus Super 35 mode. Now, Super 35 mode takes its 4K image literally from a smaller area of the frame, so it's gonna have more noise. Uh, the question is how much and do you need to do anything to correct it in camera? What I'm saying when I view the ISO ramp that you're watching is that Super 35 mode probably has a stop and a half, maybe in two stops worse noise than full frame mode. So that's a bit concerning and that's definitely something you want to know about ahead of time if you're switching between Super 35 and full frame mode. Now it turns out that the C500 Mark II has two parameters within its noise reduction. There is the spatial filter and frame correlation. The spatial filter softens the image a bit. Its default is set to one and frame correlation compares the current frame to a previous frame and its default is set to zero. But what's interesting is it turns out that if you tweak that frame correlation, you can actually correct for a lot of the noise. So next up, we're gonna see a comparison in Super 35 at ISO 3200 with frame correlation set to one versus the default where it's set to zero. And I think you can see that the noise is cleaned up very nicely in that. And then to give a further sense of comparison, the next trio of clips are going to compare full frame versus Super 35 set to default noise reduction and Super 35 with that frame correlation set to one. All of the clips you've seen so far have been in C-Log2, which is Canon's log for a wider dynamic range. There's also C-Log3, which sacrifices a stop or so in terms of dynamic range. On older cameras, C-Log3 tended to be less noisy, but what the tests you're currently looking at, sort of comparing C-Log2 versus C-Log3, I found that on the C500 Mark II, they're probably about the same, and then it's borderline. C log two actually may be a little cleaner overall than C log three, so that's a, an interesting kind of wrinkle with the new camera, especially versus uh, the Canon C three hundred Mark II, because that was a camera where I always shot in C log three because it tended to be cleaner than C log two. Next up, we have a couple clips that have items in motion in them. The drawback of the frame correlation setting is there, since it is comparing the current image to a previous image, in terms of noise reduction, there is a chance of ghosting. I've done two quick tests here and I can't see any ghosting, but I think one would probably need to test on a wider variety of subjects just to feel confident that that won't arise. Next up, I have a pan the outside of my studio. And again, I don't see any ghosting, but I would encourage you to do your own tests on ISO frame correlation to determine what will work best for your shooting style. 